Sylvie. Sylvie figure. Let's go. What's up, man? Sylvie figure. Right here. What is going on everyone? How's it going my fellow collectors? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys and this is none other than Sylvie from the Marvel Studios Loki TV series TMS062, a 1-6 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video, especially Hot Toys. Without further ado, let's dive in. First things first, let's remove from the plastic. Right, so this is the art box and I would say it looks pretty nice and it looks great. Actually, I really like the print. It's pretty neat, you know, the picture of Sylvie right there, I mean the real character and then some really nice fonts right here, some embossed prints right here, also on this one right here, something like a golden color embossed print which is really nice and then on the side, uh, also another, uh, you know, nice embossed print right there, this one's kind of like really cool because it's connected to the front print, really nice and also on the other side the same simple and of course the description i mean the warnings and their shops website here in hong kong pretty you know very straightforward i would say but not common because of those prints right there on the top which is really cool right so anyway this is just a cover art box so we're gonna slide it up so we can see the inner art box bam there you go wow that is really really cool um effect right there right kind of like an extra spray which is really cool right wow and then on the other side right here for all time always right there and then the back yeah time variance authority really cool color purple and then right there on the side the same okay that's pretty cool that you can see right away what's inside the box. You can actually display it like this, which is really, really fantastic, right? Okay, I'm excited to see the figure and those accessories. That is really cool. So let's open it. Let's take it out the figure. I saw some damage right here on the box. So, yo. But anyway, it's fine. Okay, so right here, I would say very nice presentation of the packaging. Really cool that, you know, that shape wow they made something you know really different now okay so let me show you guys first the instruction sheets okay so very small piece of paper so not much but you still have to check those you know um, accessories and how you're going to attach those accessories 
and I saw something underneath so this is kind of like a backdrop right so this is the backdrop kind of like a time door or time door backdrop whatever you're going to call it anyway let me open it oops Ooh, not good yeah, be careful oh so might gonna stick out not good okay so this one is made out of very very thin plastic so it's easy to get some scratches it's easy to get scratch you know i mean like you see even fingerprints like it's easy to get there see Ooh, so be careful if you're going to display this one i'm probably not gonna use this one i mean maybe just for now for some pictures and you know videos but then i'm not gonna use this to display it and you know my you know display rocks but um yeah it looks really really cool you know if you only have like you know silver figure on your display then this is gonna be really really cool just be careful on this one like this one see uh, the scotch tape just got stick there then it's of course if i'm gonna scratch it am i gonna again i mean if i'm going to remove it am i gonna have some scratch there so yeah just be careful and this is the stand for this backdrop so later we're gonna use this one let me open the main packaging so i'm gonna start off with this two pieces extra joint right here and then some extra buttons right there so right here we have four pairs of extra interchangeable hands with different gestures and also some effects wow that's really cool let me show you guys first Right here is something really new, right? So we haven't, uh, I think, uh, yeah, we haven't seen this kind of effect. I mean, like the hand with effect. I'm not sure. I don't remember that we have this kind of, you know, design to other figures, which is, this one is really cool, right? See, at least we don't need to like, you know, keep putting those effects on the hand because it keeps falling, you know, once you attach it. But this one's really, really cool. And it's very sharp. Wow. It's quite sharp, guys. Oh my goodness wow okay so hopefully i mean like i wish there's a something like a led light up function there so this one will light up right but anyway okay so we got again four pairs of extra interchangeable hands the paint job and details i would say it's very neat you know pretty decent okay, okay so right here is the accessories and weapons okay so there you go wow that looks amazing right very nice okay let me so i believe this is the temp pad with articulated functions okay, let me open this one first there you go that is amazing look at that <laughs> the details is very cool paint job i would say it's pretty neat right okay wow okay and then this one looks like you're going to attach this one right here uh, so I think this one is part of the temp pad, right? I'm not really sure, but it looks like it looks like that we're going to attach this one here. Oh, there you go. Oh, that is amazing, guys. Look at that. So and this one right here, this one looks like a battle, like something like a kind of like a reset charge, uh, you know, effect right or a set charge device kind of like that and then you can see the details it's pretty cool see later again later i'm gonna do some closer look of this one amazing look at that wow so there's no uh movable parts i think uh this one is non-detachable i thought we could you know detach the cover the lead cover but it's not okay it's pretty cool and then right here is her weapon um yeah this one oops Ooh. already this one's ready to touch wow. okay so this one is the prune stick and with some interchangeable part on the end part wow this is really really cool wow. and quite sharp love the details and yeah looks good the paint job pretty decent i would say let me try to find the oops oh yeah Okay, so you could detach this one, some interchangeable part, right 
there that is really cool guys oh my goodness that is amazing so anyway and then okay so this is the prune stick okay and then right here is the sword oh my goodness this is really cool i love the details i mean like look, look at the details wow right this is amazing guys i mean look at that nice handle the blade those prints and both prints right there i mean like sculpt right and then yeah this one is not sharp but of course this one of course is a bit sharp okay nice paint job very nice paint job guys so the sword i think that's it so this one yeah i believe this one is the reset charge effect yeah so that's the reset charge device Okay, this is pretty cool but uh, I don't know where are you going to attach this one so later we're gonna find out maybe on the uh, for that the backdrop right this one made out of plastic and then right here this one is the black poncho wow her black poncho is really cool the materials that they use fabric material a little bit stretch I would say just a little bit and then the stitch looks really good the lining inside green color there you go oh we could put something there inside and then yeah the hood hooded the uh, poncho and then there's some uh, what's this like wires embedded wires but not that really thick you know here thin on the side and then also on the other side and here on the neck part it's quite thick it's quite thick this one yeah the hood yeah look the hood looks really cool right i mean like look at that uh, stitches very nice uh, details okay right so this is the black poncho okay so let me get the figure but first let me get the base before i present to you the figure we got the holder right here, crutch holder, as usual. And um, this is the base. Wow, this is awesome. And uh, kind of like a glass base. Yeah, because of that. See, kind of like acrylic glass. Right? The print, I would say it's, you know, pretty decent. You know, it looks cool, very straightforward. You know, Sylvie picture there, Loki logo, and of course, nameplate, a simple nameplate. Let me put this one here. Ooh, that's very tight. Okay, so this is the figure. Wow, she looks nice. Okay, let me remove the plastics first. And so right so there you go one quick look again before we check the articulations i think it, she looks really nice right okay i'm not gonna remove that so i have to check if there's any damage so i don't need to put it back again okay okay so i think that's pretty much everything included in the box so now i'm gonna check the articulations okay so i'm gonna start with the head Probably just gonna remove this one, you know, so we could be able to really check the figure properly. So I would say the articulations and the head is pretty awesome. I mean, like you could do every angles, every direction. Like the range of motion is really big. However, of course, uh, you're gonna see some, you know, extra gaps there, like this one. I mean, it probably doesn't look good for some of you. But I think it's okay. It's 
yeah it's not really a big deal um, of course if you're going to standard like straight like this I think it's fine but just you know saying like when you're doing some you know look up there or probably you're not gonna do that but I think it, it's fine it's totally fine just saying okay it's pretty smooth guys amazing I would say amazing and then moving on to the arms amazing amazing uh, articulations on the shoulders i mean the range of motion is really really good i would say tight and pretty smooth and you can see like it's yeah i mean it's easy to move right i mean you're not gonna have a hard time to move it because the materials that they use on the you know inner suit is fabric stretch material and it's very thin which is really really cool see even like you know moving the arms to the front also really nice so you could do a really nice um you know dynamic poses on this figure and then the swivel here also on the other side okay and then elbows bam double jointed that is amazing okay see really close to the body which is amazing guys wow that is amazing so it's very thin i mean like the you know the body that they use on this figure is very thin of course it's thin what i mean is like you know it's easy to move see the swivel right there wow pretty cool right and then for the wrist joint i think it's fine but this one looks like oh yeah i thought it's attached to the uh hand but yeah you could easily detach that from you know because this one is like a kind of like a long sleeve right there see so if you're going to change the hands, it's going to cover the joints. So I think you're not going to worry about like showing those joints because it has some cover like this, like her sleeve. Okay. And then moving on to the upper body and upper torso. So that's the articulations on the waistline and also upper torso. I would say it is amazing. I mean, like you could do different direction. I mean, like, you know, the range of motion is really, really nice. See, the twist, the crunch in, the arch, and the side crunch. Fantastic, right? Amazing. So anyway, let's move on to the legs. wow did you see that i mean like the articulation i mean it's pretty smooth and tight and not only that uh, the range of motion is really really huge i mean that's what i want to see actually because of you know she's really did a lot of you know like dynamic poses like action scene you know in the tv series so that's why i'm actually expecting like more of like you know more articulations and more bigger range of motion on this figure so you saw that legs amazing guys and for the knees bam double jointed look at that wow that is so bent too much <laughs> but yeah look at that wow amazing right and it's yeah it's not ratchet joint i would say but it's pretty smooth guys oops <laughs> so there's no articulations on the ankle part i'm not sure why i mean like see no <laughs> even flex and point those basic even twist actually oh no 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 it has some twist there you go it's very very tight guys wow sorry guys my bad so wow it's very tight and then but flex and point doesn't have because 
probably because of the boots because of the design and this one is not soft usually if you know if we're gonna get some you know uh what's this like point and flex uh the boot is very very soft just like the other figures it, it's either made out of soft very soft plastic material or pleather yeah but this one is like quite hard plastic okay but yeah at least we have the twist but again for the you know some dynamic poses again what i'm expecting is more of like you know bigger range of motion but this one for the ankle I think we could still be able to do some you know nice poses for standing position but of course it's gonna be somehow like it's gonna look weird because it doesn't have like movement of the ankle right but anyway at least we have some twists but still limited range of motion on the ankle part okay so overall the articulations is really incredible I would say um, I think that's the only uh, probably gonna have a you know some issue not really big deal but again probably gonna annoy you know if you're doing some poses without the crutch holder okay but yeah this is fantastic guys I like it anyway let's move on okay so before I touch those accessories before we play around those accessories let me review this very quick uh, let me show you guys the closer look let's check you know the closer look on the details I'm gonna start with the boots Okay, so this one, I would say the details looks good. Um, I would say it's pretty decent. The paint job is pretty neat, you know, I would say. Nothing really special, but, you know, I would say it's very common. Eh? I mean, look at that. Um, yeah, especially it doesn't have any articulations and any movable parts. So I would say, you know, pretty decent, you know, not bad. Underneath right there. Okay, some details, some sculpted part. Okay, so this is a sculpted boots. Okay, and then let's move on to the pants. I would say this is really cool, very good, uh, you know, choice on the material because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's why we could be able to do some bigger range of motion and articulation, especially on the leg, especially here, which is fantastic, right? And then you can see right there some extra small details, some patterns, right? This is kind of like stretch not totally super stretch but just a little bit right and I really like those uh, I mean like the style like kind of like a crumpled part I think it's very accurate to the you know series and some bolded part right there some extra details also at the back right pretty cool okay I think that that's why it's you know it's pretty accurate you know to the series and then closer look on the belt this one right here this one is made out of leather material you can see right there yeah this one is not really super prone to flaking especially if you're going to have a very nice humidity on your display I mean like um, at least a bit moist a bit uh, uh, cold not hot um, not warm I mean just sometimes warm uh, because you need that you know moist a little bit for this one um, yeah, compared to the other pleather material, so that's why this one it will last longer. I would say, just uh, not too much of aircon because it might gonna you know become hard and then that's gonna start the flaking. But anyway, this one has a velcro design, so we could detach from the body of the figure. You can see right there. Bam. Okay, that looks really cool. So we could detach this one. So basically, the pants is detachable yeah I could see it's detachable not attached to the yeah not attached to the armor okay let me put it back first okay so there you go already attached again um, so yeah it's pretty cool some some buttons right there that's why we have uh, extra buttons on the plastic I mean like yeah together with the joints and this one right here is magnetic design for the holder of the handle of the sword which is pretty cool right that's amazing see wow and then right here is the holster of the sword which is amazing because of that extra paint light blue color and the stitch it's quite hard so this one looks like a pure leather material because it's really hard I mean like 
you might gonna have some flaking but not that easy compared to this I mean compared to this one yeah this one is pretty hard and yeah the quality looks really good yeah that's why this one as I said earlier it's not really really super prone to you know uh, flaking you see right there very nice some stitches some kind of like uh, not uh, I mean like not clean stitch there but it's okay it's kind of like accurate to the film right looks good there you go and let's move on to the armor right here I'm not sure if it's armor or just a body suit right so yeah but I would say the details looks good uh, looks nice I would say especially those sculpted part right there on the side which is amazing yeah this one's sculpted um, armor or suit and the paint job I would say looks pretty decent to me the gold print I mean the gold paint right there some small you know gold you know print right there or small paint and then also right here pretty decent gold uh, paint and then some weathering some you know green weathering right there Okay, it's kind of like a scratch scratches also at the back at the back not much so more to the front you know those green color effect right there nice okay this one is kind of like a plastic rubber material or kind of like a plastic pleather material you know once you touch it you feel like oh this one looks like a pleather material but uh, yeah kind of like I think plastic rubber material or pla soft plastic materials okay so anyway I think this one you could be able to detach it from the back because I saw there's some you know some hole here some kind of like inserted uh, fabric material like a string uh, so if you're going to pull that out you might gonna be able to detach this armor see so if you pull that out all the way here then yeah you could be able to detach from the body and then some extra details here kind of like a string made out of also same material plastic material you see just be careful on you know touching it. it it looks like it's easy to break so this one is actually fabric material and some you know pleather in the middle and some gold uh details there kind of like uh not just only a print kind of like a rubberized print yeah kind of like that okay anyway let's move on right here is um the color the color is made out of pleather material that one is really prone to you know flaking ouch so yeah <laughs> and some gold uh, also color that one's also you know pleather material actually like a fabric material and then but this one's really pleather so this block right here and the color and then this one right here on the shoulders that one's also made out of pleather material very soft and some really cool stitches right there that is amazing also on the other side right that is amazing and then of course um, fabric material on the suit very thin okay and then connected or stitched to the pleather sleeve right there this one is really prone to flaking hopefully it will last longer I would say you know gold print right there or some details this one is really nice some embossed print some rubberized print right there green color also on the other side I'm not sure if that's a logo okay yeah I think that's it the stitch I would say the stitch looks pretty decent to me I think uh, yeah pretty pretty neat I would say right see very neat uh, stitches there the gloves I would say the gloves looks good okay so I think that's it for the body now moving on to the head scalp I would say yeah it looks beautiful you know to me however um, she looks a bit old here um, yeah I mean like the details the skin tone the texture I would say fantastic but you know the resemblance to Sylvie I would say or to the actress uh, Sophia is that uh, right her name I forgot sorry I would say like 90 to 95 percent accurate you know to the actress uh, to Sylvie okay just that but everything looks great I mean the angle um, it still looks like her so there's no angle that doesn't look like her it's just that just a bit oh just a little bit you know hmm. anyway the hair sculpt this is amazing guys I mean the hair sculpt looks really really nice especially that pony on the top amazing 
the color probably should be more lighter uh, just a little bit you know okay so just comment down below guys if i'm correct or wrong so just you know what i remember anyway that one is really cool that one's not detachable you know that headdress that horn and broken horn right i think that's it guys so so now let's play around with those you know poncho and weapons and accessories Okay, so I'm gonna put those accessories. I'm gonna start with this one, this sword. This one looks really, really cool. Wow, that is amazing, guys. This one right here, her poncho. Okay, so for this poncho, basically just gonna, you know, lay over the poncho on the shoulders and then, you know, you're gonna button this one right here. This is gonna be your support, you know, so at least it won't gonna, you know, detach easily from the body and then you're gonna do some extra style on the wires here that somehow like wrap around to the body if you want to somehow keep that, you know, um, poncho. Yeah, basically it's just like that you're just gonna put it over and that's it you know there's no um like velcro or magnet there that's gonna hold up you know that uh, poncho but i think it's not really gonna fall easily because it's really somehow like fits to the body and because of that you know um buttons on the hands on the arms okay so yeah i think it looks pretty cool see right amazing Okay, so this is how it looks like for, you know, those accessories and weapons. Uh, this one, I think it's pretty okay, pretty decent. Um, it's quite loose, of course, for the hands. But, uh, you know, we could, you know, heat up that and make it more tighter, you know, to hold that uh, handle of prune stick. But I think it's fine. Yeah, it looks good. This one's already quite loose. I mean, like, already loose for that detachable part. So, not good. And then this one right here, it's quite scary to attach that, you know, that hand because of the power effect or, yeah, her powers. I mean, like, because, of course, if you're going to attach it to the joint, kind of like, you can hold it like this. And somehow you feel like this one, is, you might gonna pull it off somehow. <laughs> so it's quite, you know, like scary, but not, I think it's easy to, you know, attach this one. Just be careful. Because the joint is hidden right there, so it's somehow it's hard to find the right hole, right? But then the other part, like this one, this one is okay. I mean, it's it's very easy to attach to the joint. So anyway, I think that's it for the, you know, for the accessories. For this tempa, yeah, you could, you know, you could use that uh, both side of holding the weapon as well for this tempa, okay? Right there. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm just gonna show you guys uh, also before I do some poses and my final thoughts, that backdrop, okay? And my overall thoughts on this Sylvie figure, I would say she is absolutely beautiful. It is a great looking figure in my honest opinion. Definitely a must-have figure to any hardcore fan of Sylvie figure or Sophia. If you really like this character from the TV series, I think you should really add this to your collection. Especially the articulations are really, really good. You're going to enjoy it doing a lot of dynamic poses. I gave you some poses here, but I think not enough time. But I'm enjoying it, you know. And then the details on the body, I think it looks really, really good. And then the accessories, not much, but I think it's enough for you to play with. However, you might still gonna find some flaws like the articulation on the joint and some details maybe not accurate from the film or from, I mean from the series and also the head sculpt maybe not really spot on but I would say it's still a beautiful piece, still a beautiful head sculpt, you know, I'm not 100% but I think it's still the, the likeness still there, uh, still look like Sofia Di Martino so yeah, I think still a great looking figure overall in my honest opinion so if you're planning to complete the loki tv series i think you should really add her to your collection because i'm not sure if hato is going to make another sylvie figure on the season two so let's wait for that but i'm not really 100 sure so i think that's about it guys that's all i could say 
let me know your thoughts on this figure as well feel free to comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you in the next one peace